Today on the channel from AEW Unmatched Series 8, we got the return of the line of Penta. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another AEW Jazzwares Unmatched Series 8 Unboxing and Review. And today on the channel, we got Penta, but he's taking a dark turn. Penta Oscuro, that's who we got here today. But for all your Penta needs, make sure you're not bringing side collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. Got to get the deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Penta Oscuro's up to here. Any very dark set is AEW Unmatched Series 8, of course, with this dark version of Penta and the House of Black. Check out Buddy Matthews. Check out Malachi Black unboxings on the channel. Penta, the next one here to draw the short straw. But Penta looking good, looking a little bit like a grave digger. I don't know. I know he's got a shovel there. Of course, this is Penta's dark persona. He's a man of many masks, I guess we'll say there. But love the packaging design per the usual here. The blue background against the silver and black attack. Always looking good. A little glamour shot action there looking good as well. Number 63 in the line. Of course, Series 8 once again, All Elite Wrestling. Same thing on this side over here. He's got the little E on the bottom. We'll figure out what that spells before you know it. On the back, we got the big cross sell down below. Of course, we'll unbox every single one of those on the channel, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Then at the very end, we're going to do a rankings video. We rank every one from my least favorite to my favorite. Stay tuned for that as well. On the back, very dark, very dark, very autography. Let's see what it says, if anything. Penta, back there, looking dark, all in black, like a young Johnny Cash, really, in a lot of ways. This is Penta Oscuro from Dynamite 223 2022, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, he'll fit right in in that outfit in Bridgeport. Sunny Bridgeport, Connecticut. Who knows? But let's get Penta out of the package here. See what's going on. Dare I say, see what all the fuss is about. Ray Phoenix, we'll have to wait for another day. You're not a part of this set. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. Extra hands. Got a shovel as well. Diving in. Dive it in, see what's going on here. And yeah, there he goes. Bam! See you later. And I guess we'll start with the accessories first. Looking absolutely wild right here. So we do get a shovel. It's a shovel. First time in the line accessory, and it's a dirty shovel. It's a little dirty down here, a little cream and kind of brown on the end of the shovel head. Got a nice kind of maroon stick holding the shovel head in. At the end of the day, it's a shovel. It can dig holes. It can be a weapon. It can cut somebody's head off. It can cut a snake in half in the yard. Do whatever you want. Choose your own shovel adventure at the end of the day. And he's got two gripping hands out of the package to, of course, grip said shovel. But we also got the uh, Penta Hey, because, you know, Penta, he doesn't just do this as a sign. He doesn't, he doesn't really do this. He goes, hey, hey, all right, all right, it's okay. That's really what it's for at the end of the day. But we got both of those hands here. Seen that before with Pentas of the past. But now we're going to dive into Penta himself, see what's going on in this dark turn from Penta. And I do like that we got this Penta. If we're going to get a Penta, I'm glad we got this one. As we've gotten so many Pentas in the AEW Unmatched, Unrivaled, and Supreme line. I feel like we're a little ODing on Penta. But at least this one feels different. At least it's the first version of his dark persona. We're okay with that, I guess, at the end of the day. And we'll, of course, compare this Penta to the other ones later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. But we'll start with the head here. No extra heads with this Penta. Just himself right there. And he's got the big open mouth. Almost looks like a blow-up doll. Looks uh, pretty wild there. You got some teeth going on. Got the tongue behind there. And he's got the paint all around his mouth looking pretty wild. Big old white eyes going on looking extra creepy. And then, of course, a very standard Penta mask over the top. However, all in black. Almost like a great Sasuke style almost. Not almost, but different, of course. Uh, but looking very interesting here in the head sculpt department. But definitely looking dark, no doubt about it. Now the rest of his suit here, all in black once again. Got the cross going on, necklace sculpted in. And you do got a little red decor here on the front of the shirt. Uh, he's got the shirt down here, some buckles, down to it like a skirt type thing going on. 
And then, of course, he's got a loincloth. It is not from Eternia. I checked. There's no fur involved, so it's not an Eternian one. Got the black legs going on, the black tights, down to the black tennis shoes, a little white trim on the shoes, of course. And then a very Knights of the Round Table. Oh, shout out to the Round Table. Got the silver and black attack going on the hand stuff. Almost looks like Knight's armor on the hand. Thought that looked fairly interesting here. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the chest and uh, the hula hoop here. It has a weird kind of look to it. It looks a little bit like it flares out, like he's way bigger down here than the top. It just has a weird kind of look in hand. I, I can't really explain why it's weird. It just feels and looks a little awkward is what it looks like to me. And that could just be me. Who knows? Now, articulation here, arms do go all the way around for us. We do get a bicep cut. Double jointed elbows, of course. Hands removable, back four side to side. Head back forth, up and down a little bit, back and forth a little bit there. Hula hoop, pretty good movement out of that hula hoop. Traditional waist a little bit there. Penta, not super deep splits here with all the what's going on around his waist. You get the legs up, thigh cuts in there, double jointed knees in there as well. You do get a boot cut and then ankles back and forth, up and down. A little bit loose in that articulation, I will say, for those keeping track at home. And I'm sure there's somebody taking some detailed notes saying, okay, he's saying the loose there in the thigh, loose in the leg. Yeah, I did. I did say that. Now, does he fit on a Jazzwares AEW ringside stand? Use discount code Kyle, save 10%. What do you know? Fits on the stand right there. Let's put this shovel back in his arms. Uh, you got to have him with the shovel. I think there's no way around that. you got to have him getting ready to uh, dig some dirt, be a grave digger, whatever he might be up to. I think we have to use that at the end of the day. As a, it's a new accessory. It's something different we don't get with Penta. We usually get tag team title belts, maybe some extra heads here and there. But at least this feels a little bit different. And it definitely feels a little darker for Penta. No doubt about it. Penta has been absent from TV uh, lately. Whoa, I just lost Penta. He just took a dive off the table. Are you kidding me? What are we doing here? The stands are supposed to protect us from that. I don't know what's going on there. But we do got him. We got him back on the table. Will he stay? I don't know. Place your bets with Vegas right now. But Penta, an interesting one. One I didn't necessarily need, but I'm glad they went in a different direction with this Penta from what we're going to see right here. Of course, many a different Penta in the lines over the last couple of years. We got the gold. We got a beautiful black one. Of course, you got the big old Supreme looking good. We do get one in red. Oh my gosh, all the colors of the rainbow here. And we even got one from the Boss Fight Studios. We know about that. We actually got another one on top of that, I believe, as well. So we've got quite a few Pentas over the last couple of years. Some of us may be Pented out at this point. Nothing against the performer, but we want some different blood, some newer blood, I think, in the line. But we understand they like to go back to things they already have molds for, things they have pieces for, and, of course, more tippy-top performers that resonate with the audience. Because, hey, as much as I want a Lee Moriarty figure, I don't know if he's going to set the pegs on fire. Nothing against old Lee, uh, but I just don't know if he'd set all the pegs on fire compared to somebody like a Penta. And that's kind of what it comes down to. We always got to remember, put on the business hat, follow the money. So there it is, Penta Obscuro. Any thoughts from you guys in the comments down below? Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Are you pented out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content, including early access to both YouTube channel videos over on the Patreon channel. You can even be a free Patreon member now. Check out the link in the description below. Support the channel. Check out the Q&As, pizza reviews, dog stuff, you name it. It's all going on over there at the old Patreon. And of course, you can support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Penta Unmatched Series 8, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.